Greetings and welcome to Forager. I'm Catherine of Sky and yes, one of the most popular games on my channel ever is in beta. Now we are in the closed beta. And first of all, I want to tell you how you can get a copy of this game because everybody's going to ask me and I know this is going to happen. First of all, look in the description below. All of the links are there. So to get into the closed beta, you have a couple of options. Um, you can either join the Discord for the Forager game, not my personal Discord, but the Forager dis Discord. And when you chat and post memes and help other people and talk about the game, you can level up. And once you hit level 30, you will get a copy of the game. This is from the developer's email that he sent to me today. And um, the other way, if you want to get instant access to this game, you can also pledge to the creator's Patreon. So both of those links are in the description below. Uh, check them out. And um, that's how to get the game. Now, having said that, this is an early beta. This is very early. Uh, so there will be bugs. So please forgive them as we go along. As you can see, I have practiced a little bit. I got to 42 minutes, level 8, uh, with 211 gold to spare. <laughs> but then I, I, uh, I encountered this thing called death. <laughs> yes, the game has become a lot more dangerous. And I didn't starve to death this time, I promise. The game is very, very different. So what we're going to do is hold to delete. We're going to delete this save and start a brand new one. So let's have a new game. Ooh, all right. So we're going to start with our regular stuff here. I guess I should just go with our menu. Um, and you can see everything is very different now. We have the inventory is now in the menu. It's not along the bottom any longer. Uh, let's go through the menu items one by one. Here's our gear. We have accessories, seals, and artifacts. I have no idea what seals and artifacts are, and I don't know how accessories uh, play into this at all. Uh, we have tools and weapons here, which seem to auto upgrade. As I've noticed, we've got treasure chests found, lands owned, uh, which should be, we know about lands. Uh, that's where you buy different islands. Uh, skills. These are in their own menu now. You can see we start off with four different ones. We can either choose industry, uh, economy, we've got foraging, uh, and magic. So I know exactly which one I'm going to do first because <laughs> I have a little bit of, I have eight uh, skill points of experience. All right. Okay. Let's go back again here to this. Let's go under feats. These seem to be achievements of some sort. Um, own five lands, kill a hundred enemies. And yes, this is enabled. You might uh, guess what I died from last time. <laughs> so, and then we have other goals. Help the princess, help the wizard, help the goblin. Last time I encountered a sort of a fairy woman, maybe a princess, maybe it's, oh no, I think it might've been the fairy queen. Uh, right, I have a hundred poop in your inventory. Good Lord. I had no idea that was an achievement. I was selling the poop. Um, catch 50 fish. There's all kinds of different things. All many, many things. I don't know if you get any prizes for that, but they're there. So the next thing is we have the items. Then we have the build menu. This is totally changed from before. We have industrial buildings. We've got furnaces, forges, sewing station, which is kind of cool. Farming, got bridges and fish traps there. Economic, we're going to have the market and the vault appearing first and magical stuff. I haven't explored that at all yet. Uh, next thing we have buying land here. Uh, okay, and then we've got the config, right? Okay, good. So, as always, might as well start building stuff. We need to harvest things. Um, and the first thing I really want to go for is to get a, um, a better pickaxe. Well, better pickaxe and uh, XP bonus. So we're going to go for those things first. We're going to build a furnace, which we're going to need some stones for. Uh, one thing that's changed is kind of funky. You cannot zoom in and out. Like before you could zoom way out and kind of see a lot of the map and possibly harvest stuff from afar. That doesn't seem to work anymore. So, uh, but there are other interesting features. There's, there's a lot of things that have changed in this game. So I'm really looking forward to kind of exploring and seeing where we get with this. All right, here we go. Lots of stone. And it even tells you how much XP you get from each stone. Like that one gave me four XP. That's kind of a nice thing. I like that. Oh, there was a bush behind that. Nice. Berry bush. Okay, there we go. Let's harvest these guys. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by building a couple of furnaces if we can afford it. Boom. Okay, good. All right. So let's go our, to our build menu. And I'm accessing all of these things from the escape button. Um, okay, furnace. Let's see. Let's build it like maybe here. Let's build two of them. Ah, and we need to eat. So let's go to our items and we'll eat a couple of berries and an orange. Oh, we don't have a lot of berries. I would really like to get some, some other stuff going. Let's see if we can make some iron. Oh, we need coal uh, and or make coal out of trees, out of wood. So let's just chop these trees real quick and set them up for baking into charcoal or coal. Aha, level two, boom. Right, so I'm gonna choose a talent for level two that may not make a lot of sense initially, but you'll see where it goes to. We're gonna choose magic. Allows you to find fairies. I have no idea what fairies do, but we're gonna pick it anyway. Because the thing that comes off of it is brilliance. Gain 15% more XP. This is the skill we're going to go for next. So we can have the earliest XP gains ever. Oh, inscription tables. That sounds interesting. Um, but the economy branch seems to be a really good branch to go into as we go along. That's what I unlocked the first time. And then I just found that XP thing sort of by chance. So we're going to get there. It's going to be good. Okay, there we go gonna get some fairies and I do want to build some fish traps uh, early on because that'll help us with food gains the moment we have zero uh, money we can't unlock any other islands yet Let's go ahead and bake some of these uh, coal things now we have an interesting thing where we can either choose up and down how much we want to go with or we can say um, like for it less we can press control and it'll automatically pick the highest amount that we can make so we're going to just make a bunch of, for now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Don't, don't complain so much. <laughs> Look at you, food. Just hold on. Okay, here we go. And we have nighttime. Uh, this is, seems to be a new fe feature. I think it's a new feature. I don't think we had nighttime before. Maybe we did. I can't remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some days my brain doesn't work well, but it's okay. It'll be fine. All right, and we need to also prioritize getting some uh, gold made so that we can get other islands. That's kind of important. Oh, that's, I thought that was pick upable. Not quite. And see what we need to make the other things. Let's see, we need a forge. So we're gonna need four iron ingots and four bricks. Oops, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Okay, four, can I make four of these? Yes, I can. Okay, so let's make those. Now these guys, I don't know what the heck to do with. We might need like a bug net. Um, they don't seem to be pick upable. We can't attack them with our pickaxe. Um, so we might need a different tool to harvest those guys. I didn't quite get there. Oh, 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 there's a fairy, yay. Okay, so these guys, they give us XP, the fairies. Okay, so we're gonna go walk up to it and press E. Yay, 10 XP. So we don't actually kill the fairies. Wait, did it give me food benefit? Ooh, that's tasty. If it gave me food, that could be really good. I didn't notice. I sh I'm gonna have to go back and look in the video or find another fairy and uh, and see if it gave us like extra food. That, that would be nice. Man, that's a heck of a benefit. Ooh, coal. That's a very good benefit, too. All right, we need iron like crazy, so let's craft six of those. Get this coal working for us, too. Boom, level three. Right. Okay, let's go our skills. <laughs> I'm in here fast. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, and the other thing that was very interesting to me, foraging. Cotton spawns more often, allows you to find wheat, allows you to find beets. So we can't actually see wheat or beets right now. Uh, all right, let's get brilliance. We need the XP gain so we can just level faster. What do we got here? Unlock swords, increases dodge chance by 15%. Oh, that's nice. Alchemy unlocks cauldrons. And then we have unlocks vaults. I want storage and I want markets. Yes, we need those two things very, very much. They're quite important to us. Okay, so let's see what we need in terms of all the other things. Let's see. So 
just get this iron out of here. Ooh, 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 coal. Happy days are here again. And I think the recipes have changed as well because I've noticed, uh, I don't remember what it was before. I could have sworn it was like one to one um, iron to bars, but now it's two to one, two ore per bar. Um, okay, so let's just make all these and find out how much we need for the forge. Okay, we need ingots and then the sewing station, we're going to need some fiber. Now then, bridges are four wood a piece if we want to go somewhere. Fish traps, uh, we're going to need berries for that, but we don't actually have enough berries. I'm kind of worried about the survival, to be honest, uh, at this moment with, uh, with very little food. Okay, let's go and eat something. We have this. We have oh, just a few berries. Ah, okay. We may just have to wait on spawns or something for that. All right, I think we have enough iron to build our first industrial building. So let's build our forge. Well, actually, it's our third industrial building <clears throat> now that I'm thinking about it. But anyway, it's fine. Um, do we have any gold? I've kind of forgotten about gold. Uh, we have no coal, right? We need to make, make coal, craft all of it you can, please. And then we're going to harvest more trees. And as we get the coal rolling in, we're going to start making some gold. Now there is a very nice gold perk um, up the economic line, which gives you four plus four coins per every forging of coins. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that yet, but it's okay, we'll get there. I just wanna make you aware of the different options that we have available to us, because I know that people were pretty excited about um, the other series that I've done of this game. Um, to the point where everyone was making strategies and people were posting uh, the the, the um, research chart on the wiki. It was really quite exciting, I have to say. Very, very thrilling. I'm so excited that people were, were happy about it. And I'm thrilled that this is now in a beta state. This is great. So anyway, let's see what we can do with this. We'll make some more. Come on. I... I need to get that. So I wonder if that benefit is still in the game. The one where like every time you mine, you have a chance to get coal. Oh man, I love that skill. That was so good. We have to explore the, um, the whatchamacallit chart. The skill chart or the tech tree. I guess should, we should call it a tech tree because that's exactly what it is. My brain might not be working very well right now. <laughs> it's all good though. It's fine. Oh, 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 I'm exhausted. Oh, no. All right, let's eat. I am really worried about the food at the moment. Um, we may just have to wait for more berry bush spawns. In my previous game, I was able to grab, uh, put down a couple of fish traps initially, but in this one, it just doesn't seem like we have much at all in the way of food or extra stuff. Okay, well, let's let things spawn and go back to our skill tree and, and see what we want next. Okay, we've got foraging. Ooh, you know what allows us to find wheat and beets? Maybe we need some food. Let's see, that sounds pretty darn good. What else have we got down here? Gain four, <laughs> hello. Wow, 25% more XP from plants and crops? Ooh, that's really good, I think. I think that's good. Wood cutting. Trees drop 50% more wood. Wow, okay. These are great. These are great perks. I want them all. We're ready for them. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, we do need some gold to happen. So let's make some gold. Coins, all please. Now then, um, gold ingots, yeah, make, make all, make all, iron ingots, make all, yes. Yeah, so la last game that I was playing, the practice game that I did, where these gold tokens were worth 12 instead of 8, and I didn't mean to mouse over it quite so forcefully, <laughs> I meant to just like point to it, but uh, that didn't quite happen the way I wanted it to, it's all okay though. All okay. Okay, we really need to make some money. One of the things that I chose first last time was the economic benefit. And so I immediately had enough 
money to buy another island like immediately. Um, I'm wondering if that's actually a better way to go. Right now, this this food meter is like nil. Oh, cotton, hello, greetings. Nice, okay. So we can eat a little bit of food here. But yeah, I'm kind of worried about the money situation. Okay, let's just get all the money we can. I should buy some land and expand. Yes, you should. Um, I agree. That's a good idea. So at least we'll have another area to forage. And also in contrast, this um, area is giving me an absolute ton of iron. Uh, my last uh, game was not this way. It was very, very uh, tough with this. Oh, you know what? I do not want to make... Do all the coal just er, yet. What I want to do is make some wooden bridges. I want to buy a... Um, buy a new island all right coins yeah make them make them go 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 i'm hoping also these trees dro might drop some oranges or something because man yeah and i cannot eat fireflies unfortunately all right what have i got for food so this is fiber it's a material we have some berries so let's eat those um we can build let's see you know what let's buy land we have 60 coins for this land, so let's just pick that one. Oh, right. I wonder if that one's always there, because that's what I had last time. Um, okay, let's go. Let's just make a, a nice bridge there. Maybe here, too. Okay, good. And we have our first enemy. We just whack it. It is a slime. Now these guys... Whoa! I'm going to try to use up energy and see if those things heal me. Now, I did not die to a slime in my other um, game. I promise. I, it wasn't a slime that killed me. It was something else. <laughs> yes, we'll get to all of these scary things in time. Mm -hmm. Right. So I want to see, like, maybe I should save up these fairies if they heal me or feed me. I wonder if they feed me. Let's see just harvest all that we can and this is i think this is the fairy queen we should talk to her hello sweet boy let my fairies rest your weary body i need to ask you for a very small donation i will reward you with the power of my fairies may light shine upon your quest Right, so she wants a thousand coins for whatever service she's providing. I have no idea what she's providing, to be honest. I don't know. I don't have a thousand coins right now. Oh, but I do have level five. Boom. All right, let's go and get a skill. Okay, so we have stuffs happening. Gathering. I want to get more XP from plants. Absolutely. I'm going to try to see if we can get the most XP the fastest. What do we got here? Fishing. Uh, fishing traps catch things faster and unlocks cooked fish. That's one thing I noticed in my test playthrough is that I could not cook meat or fish at all. And I wondered if you had to have a recipe and looks like you have to. All right, farming unlocks a shovel, windmills, and bread. Okay, now we decided last uh, in the demo that bread was not a good value, but maybe it is now, who knows? All right, that was a good one too. All right, so we're gonna get more XP from harvesting plants, which is fantastic. And I think this is a plant, looks like one. Boom, five XP. I've kind of forgotten how much we were getting before that, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. We, we got four XP from something. Was it rocks? But unfortunately, we can't compare because rocks are, are not plants. Not today, anyway. Anyway. I'm waiting until I, I've used up almost all of my energy, and then I'm going to get a fairy and see and test this out. No, 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 don't dis disappear. Oh, they do heal me. So I wonder, if you pay her a thousand gold, is she just gonna like generate more fairies? That's, I'm guessing that's what she does. Maybe they're like free food or something. That seems quite expensive, but maybe they, they regen automatically or something like that. I did notice that they didn't really 
come back very fast after I um, so in my test game I, I just went around and I harvested them all and said hey 10 XP everywhere this is great so I'm gonna save them until I actually need them for food purposes let's see if we have enough to build a fish trap while we're thinking about this uh, oh oh did I, I got those extra slots oh my god this is good so we don't uh, need to unlock the vaults immediately this is good Yay! Are any berries? I don't have any berries. There's like no food in my universe. This is not good. Okay, so now we can definitely make some coal. Make lots of. Okay, bricks. One thing I would wish for is like select half. I would like a half button here. Like if I press shift, it doesn't do half. Yeah, it doesn't do half. Um, so I would like to see that added to the game if possible. That would be really nice. Um, so that you could split it between furnaces or something like that. But I do want to get gold so we can buy another island. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, food. Here's beets for the win. Oh my god. There. Oh, there's a slime. Hello, slime. Oh, oh, ow. Okay, good. Now then. Can I harvest this? Ooh, 2 XP for that. That's not a lot of XP. Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay, we got bars. Let's make some more coins. Now, one of the things that we're going to look to make is a slimy pickaxe. Oh, we can make it! We just need more wood! Oh, yes, I'm gonna make it because this is quite a valuable item for us. Okay, more wood. Hello. Trees, I need you to spawn like now. I'm gonna delete these rocks and hope that we'll be able to generate some more trees. I don't know. I, I'm guessing there might be like certain max amount of stuff per island. So if I delete rocks, there might come trees. That's my guess anyway. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go and collect a fairy because it seems like a very good time to do so. Oh, full health. Right, good. I think I still need another tree. Let's go check the forge again. Slimy pickaxe, we're two pieces of wood short. So I'm hoping a tree will spawn and then we'll, we'll be able to cash in on that. Um, the progression of tools seems to be quite linear and I'll show you how that is very shortly once we get wood hello wood welcome taste a nice wood yeah all right that's enough there slimy pickaxe craft one please and it seems like a slimy pickaxe might not work as well like I keep envisioning the thing made out of slime and therefore kind of jelly like I mean, if you can imagine the pickaxe made of jello and trying to whack it at a tree, it doesn't sound like it would work very well. But maybe the handle is just kind of slimy. I'm just hoping he can get a good grip on this. Oh, there's a slime. There's a slime. Okay, there we go. All right, are we done? Not done. Okay, we need this fiber. Now we need the fiber to make the um, the sewing station. And we need 10 wood and four bricks. So we can, I think we can make the bricks. Let's make, just make as many as we need and no more. Now, interestingly, the fairy queen only seems to appear at night. So if you want her blessing, you have to access her in the evening hours. Lady of the evening, so to speak. All right, get this. We don't have any money. No. Here we go. Okay. Damage is increased by 75%. You gain 50% more jelly when killing slimes. It's good. Good thing. Good thing. All right, great. And I think we can tell the difference on this, uh, I hope. Seems like it takes less hits to hit stuff, but I'm going to have to go back and count probably. Oh, tree. Hello, tree. How you doing, tree? All right, now we would like to do gold. Yes. And you need to make iron maybe no i want to do like half of this i don't want to have like that many let's do eight because at some point we're going to need steel as well so let's look at our skill points and see what we've got going on here i don't know if the game pauses or not now what did we say we wanted here bread or we could do fishing i kind of think fishing would be good 
for our food situation. <laughs> or we could go with economy and unlock another island. Because this gives us 40 coins, which I think we're going to need that. Let's get this. Boom. Okay. And that also shows up with coinage. Forge creates four extra coins every time. I think, yeah, we're going to need that too. And further up that chain is the beloved market, which we definitely need. So... Now, unfortunately, the slimes are not edible. However, seaweed is. Come on, I'm not trying to hit the fairy. All right. I'd really like to build a fish trap or two. Let's see what we can do here. Can we build a fish trap? Right. Yes, we can. Let's build one there. Um, and we need more berries and wood to build another one. At least we have one. There's berries. Hello. Oh, okay. Energy is very low. Let's go and talk to the fairy. Thank you. So I'm kind of glad we tested this out, this thing with the fairies, because otherwise it would have been just like plowing through and getting, hey, XP, yo. <laughs> but sometimes it's better to wait. Okay. These are dangerous. Now, unfortunately, the slime is not edible. It's just called a material. Um, but you can eat other things, uh, like seaweed. You can eat seaweed. Like, do we have enough uh, wood for a fish trap, or did we not get any wood? Oh, we have, I think, enough. Okay, fish trap. Let's go here. And then we might put more there, uh, depending on our proclivities. Oh, hello. Wheat. Can we eat wheat by itself, or do we have to bake it? I don't know. But in any case, I'm really excited to see how much the cooked fish is worth um, uh, calorie-wise for us. Now, I am collecting these flowers for a purpose. One thing that I want to remark on, too, is that having these, like, four extra inventory slots is wonderful. Uh, it actually makes quite a big difference in things. Okay, so sewing station. We just need more wood for that. Um, oh, oh, what do we get? Oh, we get some sand. How nice. Um, especially with all, like, the junk stuff that comes from fishing. Oh, there's another little fairy. Wonderful. Is this, like, a slime growing? I don't know what that is. Huh. All right, we have 44 coins. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy another island. Uh, let's buy this one. Oh, this is different. Okay. In this spot, in my last playthrough, this was not a chest. This was something else. Something really cool, actually. Um, so we'll see what, what if we find one of those. It was actually a museum. Which basically it had kind of like this feel of Stardew Valley where you collect different items uh, and make bundles of stuff. Like, for example, for the, the foraging or the mining, you had to have 50 coal and 50 stone and 50 other stuffs. Um, and, and there was an artifact one where you could turn it. I found a ship's anchor from fishing. So there was kind of cool stuff going on there. It was kind of neat. All right. Oh, hello, slime. I want to keep the slime population under control there. Oh, 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 oh good. Uh, all right. Let's craft all of the gold. I really need to get the gold going on here because I'm kind of missing out on that. All right. We got a seaweed, but seaweed is good because we can actually eat seaweed. Hello. Okay. No, we cannot eat this. We can eat beets though. 12 energy. That's not too bad at all. Um, here, seaweed is eight energy, so that's good. It's keeping us from dying. We need trees. We really, come on, come on, game, give us trees. We need them. That's another thing. Like in my other uh, test game, it was like trees everywhere. I couldn't get iron, but I had all the trees in the world. It's so funny how the game is like random like that. It And you know, even just between these two games, it gave me a very different feel of how I was playing the game just by that simple randomization um, of, you know, what you find next. So that's kind of a cool thing for replayability. I'm always up for games that uh, have good replayability. OK, 
Okay, fiber. Ah, now we get the trees. Excellent. Okay, let's figure out what we want to buy first in case we need it or in case it affects us. Coinage. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get four extra coins each time. That's huge. Okay, sewing unlocks leather. Sewing stations work 25% faster. Then we also have unlocks banks. I have no idea what banks do. They sound good though, uh, just because banks are places you keep money. Anyway, trading unlocks markets. So that would be another great thing for us to get so we could sell stuff um, and not be inhibited in that way. Okay. Ooh, we can make more fish traps. I'm really tempted to make more fish traps. Do we have, we do have a fairy with two fairies available. Howdy. Well then. So we know we get an achievement from the fairy queen. We don't know if we get anything else, however. So we're going to have to figure that out. Um, the market, I think it's like four by four. So I'd like to put it kind of here. So if I make more fish traps, I probably will put them along this line here see what we can do in that vein here we can make several and do a bridge like here just so we can walk more easily and then of course i would like to oh look at all that gold over there <laughs> hello hello gold how you doing all right i think it's like i'll make a pathway this way <laughs> and we have not enough wood Oh, but the slimes have no problem with no bridges. They're okay. I'd really like to actually catch a fish here. That would be fine. Uh, can I, do I need to make, no, I can't. I really cannot afford to make coal with the wood. We need all the wood we can get to make that last bridge there. Ooh, but we have some turnips or beets or something. Beets, I think. I'm exhausted. Okay, time to talk to a fairy, I think. Boom. Okay, those are not ready yet. And I don't know if you have to give it to her, that money, or you just have to have it on your person. I'm not quite sure on that yet either. Maybe she doesn't need the money. I don't know. We can always ask her, I suppose. <laughs> Presumably after we have that much in our bank. Okay, so we did get the banking, which is great. We want to go ahead and get the coin. Craft as many as we can. Okay. Oh, and there's our first bit of poop. Oh, an emerald. Happy days. And there's a cow. How long cow? That cow is so cute. I really love it. We might have to murder it later, though. Um just because we need food, but we'll leave it for now. Look at all this gold, wow. Oh, and I forgot to show you the progression of the pickaxes and, and swords and, oh, oh dear, I nearly killed the cow, whoops. I don't wanna kill the cow yet, hold on. Now we do need a key for this, I think. So let's make ourselves a key. I think we need iron, maybe. I don't remember what we need. Is this okay? That thing. I like also that these progress bars are new. I don't remember that being on there before. So that's a good thing. Really good thing. And look, our coins are now giving us 12 instead of eight. This is great. So one thing that I noticed is like, if you try to feed yourself food, on the night screen and the darkened screen, it's really hard to see the last bit of your health bar. So like if you try to eat stuff, you just keep on, I mean, it doesn't let you, thank God, it doesn't let you feed, but I would like it to see if there's like, if the dev is watching, please, um, some kind of a limit or like a border around the outside so you can tell um, how much you have and like you could gauge like you know if you have just a little health bar you wouldn't want to eat a high value food left and since this health bar grows you can't really sort of memorize it very well oh look at all of these spawns hello see when KOS talks a lot there's a lot of spawning happening <laughs> I don't know maybe it's just the fairies happy today I don't know it's kind of cool though oh I never know where those things land all right, so, well, I am looking at the time and I think 
probably is a good time for the episode to conclude. Fairy's gone. We're going to keep on working this whole system. This is... Oh, that was poor cow is injured. Um, anyway, but I, we're going to work toward getting a market and all that kind of stuff. In the meanwhile, join the devs discord, sign up, talk about the game. Also wishlist the game on Steam if you're interested because that helps like other people know about it. The Steam thing apparently works the same way YouTube does when you know people like stuff or they subscribe or whatever. It's um, it's very helpful to, for the game to get noticed. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.